Hi everyone, so today is 30th December Saturday and it is currently 3.36 p.m. and this is my to-do list for today. So we basically have a lot to do today, especially from the subject mathematics. So now let's place a timer of two hours. This timer will end at 5.36 p.m. So yeah, let's start doing mathematics now, the chapter quadratic equations. So firstly I watched the introduction video of Mansi ma'am and I didn't watch the full video like I watched it at the speed of 2x also because most of the things were kind of familiar to me as it hasn't been a very long time since I practiced this chapter. After that I started off with the NCRT examples and exercises. So once I'm done with the revision of the chapter quadratic equations I will start revising real numbers and then I will revise polynomials and obviously we have sample papers so from the next week onwards I will start solving the sample papers also. So last time I got less marks in maths because of three main reasons. First is my very stupid time management skill then my silly mistakes and then nervousness. So this time I have focused a lot on these three things even though I do make silly mistakes now also but still I'll make sure that they get reduced by the examination period. A few days back I did get a little nervous but now I won't because nervousness literally just ruins your whole hard work. So yeah I'll make sure that I stay confident in the examination hall as well. So my first examination is of English which is on 9th of January. So my main focus is on grammar and writing section because the last time I got most of my marks deducted there. So I am currently practicing the writing section every day. So I will start practicing the grammar also from tomorrow or day after tomorrow. And I'll try to read two to three stories every day from literature so that I revise that portion also. And on 10th of January, I have my Hindi exam. So I will follow the same steps for Hindi also because that is also a language subject. Currently 5.37. Right now I will take a break of 12 minutes. After that, I will start doing the biology diagrams. This timer will end at 5.49. Currently 5.52 p.m. Right now I'll place a timer of 40 minutes. This timer will end at 6.32 p.m. So right now I will start practicing the diagrams of biology from the very first chapter. So first of all I started off with the chapter life processes and I did the diagram of the elementary canal first. And yes I did watch a video for it because I'm not at all good at drawing. So even though it is a simple diagram of elementary canal, I had to watch a video in order to get a hold of it. And I've heard that the diagram of the nephron is quite important because it's in the NCRT question also and it's been asked in the boards multiple times. And I've also seen that a lot of people draw a simpler version of the nephron diagram. In that diagram, all the labelings are included, but that diagram is quite simple and not as complicated as the NCRT one. So... I will also try to draw that particular diagram only because the NCRD diagram is going to take a lot of time in the exam. 6.32 and as of now, I am done with my biology diagrams voila task. I will take a break now. After that, I will come back and I will start practicing maths again because I am left with 2 hours of it. After that, I will do exemplar and then map and then English. Currently 9.11pm and right now, I will resume my study session. So, I know I'm very late, the reason being I had to go somewhere urgently. So yeah, from now I will resume my study session. So I am supposed to do maths for 2 hours more. So right now I'll place a timer of 1 hour and I'll start doing quadratic equations. Once that timer gets over, I'll place a timer of 1 hour again and then I'll do the case based questions. So now let's place a timer of 1 hour. This timer will end at 10, 12 p.m. So yeah, let's start doing maths now. So now if I talk about the sample papers which I'm going to use, I have two sample papers currently from two different publications. Now once I start solving them, I will give you a broader idea about the difficulty level and the type of tricky questions, objective questions, everything. So because a lot of you asked me like which one is better in my perspective. So once I start solving them, I'll give you a broader idea about it. 
In the last video, someone commented that people are actually cheating in their school during pre-boats. And this is the same scenario in my school also. When I see someone get higher score than they deserve just by cheating, then it breaks my heart and at the same time, it infuriates me also. But that's all right. I will not let that demotivate me. I'll just keep on doing my own thing. I'll just keep working hard. Once the time I got over, I went downstairs and I had my dinner. So for dinner, I had palak paneer, which is my absolute favorite. I love every paneer dish. Okay. After that, I came back and resumed my study session. Yeah. Now let's place a timer of one hour. This timer will end at 10 35 p.m. So yeah, let's start practicing the math case-based questions now. So before practicing the case-based questions, I saw a question from statistics and I decided to solve it because as I've already mentioned, I make a lot of silly mistakes in statistics. I just decided to see my preparation and guess what? The answer was correct and I was extremely ha happy about it. So after that, I started solving the case-based questions. I was practicing the questions from the book of physics wala this video is not sponsored i'm honestly saying that this book actually has a lot of pyqs because like this book has a question paper of the past 10 years so pyqs help a lot and i don't have to go on the internet and look for different different websites i can just find all of them in one place in the case-based question i did not do the whole thing correctly i did make a few mistakes and i have observed the pattern i'll make sure that i don't repeat the same mistake in the examination hall again it's currently 11 38 pm and i'm done with my math work for today so right now i'll take a break of 15 minutes this timer will end at 11 53 pm and after that i'll start practicing the ncrt exemplar of science for 90 minutes then we'll do the maps of geography and then english so it is currently 156. Right now I'll place a timer of 1 hour 30 minutes and I will read the chapter because I'm left with I think 2 or 3 pages. So I'll read that first and after that I will start practicing the NCRT example. So let's place this timer. This timer will end at 1.27 am. So yeah, let's start practicing science, physics. So today is 31st December, like when this video is getting uploaded. And Happy New Year to all of you in advance. I hope you have a wonderful year. In this year, we have our boards also. So this year is going to be quite memorable for us. And also, do you have like any New Year resolutions? Like if you have any, then what are those? My New Year resolution will continue after the board examination only because before that it's not possible. Uh, I actually want to get back on track with my reading habit once again because I used to read a lot of books but now I can't because of the hectic schedule. So I have decided that I will try to get back on track with that habit again. And also I will try to learn a new sport I'm not sure if I can do that in 11th grade, but let's see. I actually want to learn a new sport because I'm not good at any kind of sport. So definitely I'll try to learn one. And what are your new, your new year resolutions? Please let me know in the comments below. By the way, I firstly read the NCRT of electricity. Then I practiced the example questions which were there in the NCRT. After that only, I started solving the example. Because if you start off with the example first, then you might not be able to get it because the example has some tricky and hard level questions. So you should start off with the easy questions of the NCRT first and then only start doing the example. I'm done with my example work for today. Now, I'll not take a break. I will just... Start practicing English. After that, I'll do the map of geography. So yeah, let's see how much time it takes. So I again started off with the book of physics wala only. This is the question paper of Delhi from the year 2023. I did that first and then I started solving the questions of 2019. But the pattern is actually quite changed because in those years, most of the questions were like, you you are supposed to answer them in like one word two word three word or one sentence or whatever but now most of the questions are in mcqs 
so definitely there's a shift in the pattern but my main goal is to practice the reading section in such a way that i can easily find the answer to a particular question and i don't get tricked so once i got done with my english work i started off with the map pointings of geography and i only managed to do it of one chapter which was mineral and energy resources that chapter has the most number of map pointings firstly i copied it on a fresh map and i noticed the states and their location after that i did it on another map and then i also verified it from the geography book 2:37 am and as of now i'm done with all my tasks for today so this is definitely a huge achievement so yeah that was it for today's video i hope you like this video and i'm extremely sleepy at this point so i hope you like this video and if you did then do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i'll see you in my next video very soon bye